Okay, A. Three minutes to seconds. How many seconds in a minute? 60. So we simply do three times 60 seconds. And then it's gonna be 180 seconds. That's all there is, okay? C, four hours to minutes. Okay, four hours to minutes, which is large to small. So we must multiply. And you know that there's 60 minutes in an hour, so we simply do four times 60 minutes, which is 240 minutes. Easy. D, 120 minutes to hours, small to large conversion, we must divide. So we divide by 60, which becomes two hours. E, two days to hours, there's 24 hours in a day, so we simply multiply by 24, which is 48 hours. F, 18 hours to days. So small to large, we must divide, so this time we divide by 24 which is 0 0.75 days. You can put it as a fraction if you like, doesn't really matter. But that's the answer. 22, two hours to seconds. Okay, this time we're gonna go through hours to minutes, then minutes to seconds. So you can see that hours, minutes, seconds, hours to minutes, it's large to small, so we must multiply. So we multiply by 60, isn't it? And in minutes to seconds, we multiply by 60 again. So we must multiply by 62 times. So that's gonna be 7,200 or 7,200 seconds. Okay, so you can do a little diagram like me if you ever get confused. Okay, 7,200 seconds to hours. From seconds to hours, we must, because now we're going from seconds, minutes to hours, small to large, we divide. So we divide by 60, and then we divide by 60 again. So, like that. Which should be two hours, because we had two hours there, isn't it? So you actually got the answer. But that's the background of it. So again, draw a diagram if you need to. Two days to minutes, okay. Now from days to minutes, we gotta go from days to hours first, and then hours to minutes. So you can see that days, hours, minutes. It's large to small. Large to small, what do we do? We multiply. So we multiply days to hours, there's 24 hours in a day. And then hours to minutes, there's 60. So times by 24 times by 60. 2,880 minutes, okay? And then minutes to days. Okay, this time I'll put this here. Small to large, we must divide. So we, this time, divide by 60, and then divide by 24, just like that. And then calculate it, you should have six days. Okay, so two lots of conversions we need there. Two days to seconds. Okay, we've got days, hours, minutes, and then seconds. Okay, so days, to seconds, large to small, we must multiply. So days to hours times by 24. Hours to minutes times by 60. Minutes to seconds times by 60 again. So we're gonna go 24 times 60 times 60. We should get something like that, it's a big number. Okay, so that's your answer. That's what you do, so as you can see. Okay, seconds to days, we've actually got that there. Now this was days to seconds, this was seconds to days. So we must do the same thing, but because it's small to large, we divide. So we do the exact same thing. We divide by 60, divide by 60, and divide by 24, which should get four days, all right?